Today, I'm going to show you how to set up an LCD screen to use with the PSOC. This is very helpful when you start to do some debugging when your code doesn't work. You can use the LCD screen to display the values of variables, show what point in the code you're getting stuck at, things like that. So to start out with, let's create a new project. Select target device. PSOC 5 LP then CY8 C58 LP then click next choose empty schematic and now we're going to give a name to our project the last project that we made was um, an introduction code I'm going to choose Add to Current Workspace so that this new project is saved in the same workspace, but I'm going to call this one LCD Example. Then I'll click Finish. Take note of what happened when I created a new project and added it to the workspace. Up at the top here, you may notice that some of your tabs are grayed out. The grayed out tabs are from projects that are in the same workspace, but are not currently active projects. On the left here in your Workspace Explorer, you'll notice that the project introduction is still here, but notice that it's in normal type and not bold. I'm going to collapse this project. And now you'll see that there's a second project here called LCD Example, and those letters are in bold. That means that this project, LCD Example, is the one that is active. If I click Program right now, the project or the program that will be downloaded to my PSOC will be the one that is bold. You have to be very careful with this when you have more than one project in a workspace to make sure that you're not making changes in a project that's not active and then downloading the active project to your PSOC. So to make sure that we're working in the active project, I'm going to click, I'm going to double click top design here and I'm going to make sure that the tab that I'm working in is not grayed out. Now, we need to go find an LCD block to place in the top design. You can find the LCD block inside the display menu. The one that we want here is a character LCD. Click and drag one of these to the screen. Now, just like we did with the pins, we can double click on this element and we can change all kinds of settings with this LCD. And right now, we're not going to change anything about it, but we are going to look at the name of this and take note of it. Our LCD block is called LCD char one with underscores between those words. Click OK. Now let's go to the pins. I'm going to find pins underneath the LCD example and double click on it. And just like when we placed our digital output pin previously, here we have an item called LCD char 1. The difference here is that we're now going to select a bunch of pins, a whole range of pins to use with our LCD. In the pins drop down list, select pins 2, 6 through 0 for the port. This means that we're going to use pins 2, 0 all the way through pin 2, 6 just for the LCD screen. Now let's go to the main code. And let's start by cleaning up this code. I'm going to delete all of the comments. And I'm also going to delete the line that enables interrupts. And I'm going to right away build this project. 
Once the build succeeds, I'm going to try to program my PSOC with this blank code. If you get this Select Debug Target window, that means you have to go select the device. Click on Project, Device Selector, and then we're going to find our device in this list. And our device is CY8C58888LTI-LP097. Click OK. And then we'll try the program again and make sure that it goes through successfully. It's good practice to always program your PSOC with nothing right away to make sure that your project is set up correctly before you go through all the work of writing your code. Now let's go write some code. Many times when we've placed a block on the top design window, the first thing we need to do in our code is start that block. So we're going to do LCD char1 start, open and close parentheses. Next, we're going to clear the LCD screen. You'll notice that as I type, suggestions pop up of commands that are recognized. Another way to find all of the commands that can be used for a particular uh, block placed on top design is to right click on the block that you placed in top design and then go to open datasheet. This will open up a PDF file that contains all of the information about this particular block. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do in my code is set the position where the information that we're writing to the screen is going to start. I have to give two numbers as input to position, and you'll notice in this little pop-up that comes up, the first number is which row we're going to start writing at, and the second is which column. So for now, I'm going to do 0, 0. 0 is the first row, and 0 is the first column. We're going to print a string, and the thing we want to print, we're going to put in quotation marks. Okay, that's all the code we need. Let's go ahead and build this code, and then program the PSOC. Now, of course, we're not going to see any output yet because we haven't yet wired up the PSOC. So let's go now and wire up the PSOC. Okay, gather together your PSOC, your LCD screen, your solderless breadboard, and a bunch of wires. If this protective covering on your LCD screen is still on here, you can go ahead and pull that off. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is set up the, my power and ground rails. So I'm going to take one wire and plug it into VDD, and another wire and plug it in to GND. And then I'm going to plug in the wire that's GND into one of the pins on this ground rail. And then the VDD wire I'm going to plug in to the power rail. This will help me out because a number of different pins on the LCD screen need to be plugged into power and ground. So it'll be easier to do this if I have a whole rail available to me. All right, now let's plug in all of the pins on the LCD screen that need to be plugged into either power or ground. The first pin on the right here uh, is labeled VSS and the second one is labeled VDD. The pin labeled VDD should go to the power rail, 
and the pin labeled VSS should go to the ground rail. Then, over on the other side of the LCD screen, there are two pins labeled A and K. A, the second pin from the left, should go to power. And K, the leftmost pin, pin number 16, should go to ground. And your LED backlight should turn on at this point. Lastly, the third pin from the right, which is labeled VO, should also go to ground. And you should see some dark squares showing up now. Okay, now we have to plug in all the rest of these pins. So there are three more pins on the right. They're labeled RS, RW, and E. The RS pin should go to pin 25. The RW pin should go to pin 26. The E pin should go to pin 24. Okay, now we're going to plug in the pins on the left. Pin D7 should go to pin 23. Pin D6 should go to pin 22. Pin D5 should go to pin 21. And finally, pin D4 should go to pin 20. Once you have everything plugged in, hit the reset button on the PSOC. If everything's working correctly, you should see the phrase Hello World appear on your LCD screen. It should start in the leftmost square and on the first row. We can change where that is printed by changing the position. If we want to say Hello World on the next row, We'll change the first number here to 1, and then program the PSOC. And Hello World appears on the second line. Now, printing words like Hello World is sometimes useful to us in our debugging process. But what's often more useful is printing numbers. So I'm going to show you a different command here. Besides print string, we could do print number. And then we can put a number in parentheses. So let's try and print the number 1. You should get the number 1 on your screen. Likewise, we can print the value of variables. So let's suppose we have an integer called i that's equal to 10. We can use print number instead of printing a constant to print the value of i. Okay, let me show you one more thing here. Let's suppose that we are going to change the value of i. Let's put all of this inside of a loop. Let's start i out as being equal to 1. 
and then we'll create a while loop that executes while i is less than 15. In C, I have to put curly brackets around everything that goes inside the while loop. I don't have to indent, but I'm going to indent anyways because it'll make it easier to be able to see what code is inside the while loop if I have it nice and indented. I'm going to move this position back to zero, and then every time after we print the number i, I'm going to increment i and then put a little delay. Now, let's watch what happens. We've made a counter. Knowing how to use an LCD screen will turn out to be very useful to you as you work through the rest of this course. I encourage you to leave this LCD screen connected to the PSOC so that you can use it as we go through the rest of our examples through the rest of the course.